In this video, I will backtest this trading strategy that really works for scalping on 5 and 15 minute timeframes to see how much money we can potentially make with it after 100 trades. For that, I will set my initial account size at $1,000 with 2% risk per trade. I will test it on a price of a Bitcoin USD on a 5 minute chart. And this strategy includes only one indicator and it's called Big Snapper. Big Snapper alerts by just Uncle L. So for the strategy to be ready, we need to make some adjustments to the indicator first. In the star section, let's remove all the lines except for this slow MA. We're not going to change the inputs, we're just going to leave them on a the default. Before we get into the trading rules, let's first understand how this indicator works. So every time a green arrow is printed below the price action, this is a signal to go long. The indicator also includes the area where we should place our stop loss. And if we have a red arrow printed above the price, this is a signal to go short. We see the indicator is really easy to read and even a person who has no experience can use this tool. All right, so now let's actually understand the trading rules. Okay, so here are the rules for entering a long trade. We're only going to be looking to buy if the price action is closed above this grey moving average. This is an official confirmation that we are in an uptrend. A new buy signal has to be issued by the indicator and our trigger candlestick has to be bullish. And if we have these two conditions met, we can safely enter a long position. Our stop loss will be set slightly below this green zone. The creator of the strategy mentioned that for a long trade we should place a take profit target at the recent highest price. For example, if you can't find the recent highest price for your take profit target, you need to use the trend based Fibonacci extension. And what you basically need to do is to draw the Fibonacci from the lowest point before the price crossed above the moving average all the way up to the recent swing high. By the way, you need to access the settings on Fibonacci and enable these numbers up to 2.414 and 2. Okay, now we're going to set our take profit target at the first Fibonacci level. We see the price easily triggers our target. For short positions, the rules are exactly opposite. First of all, the price action has to be closed below this slow moving average and the indicator has to issue a new sell signal. By the way, our trigger candlestick has to be bearish. Our stop loss will be set slightly above this red zone. And we're going to set our take profit target at the recent level of support. The only thing I don't like about the strategy is that sometimes the risk reward ratio can get lower than 1 to 1, which in my opinion is not really good because you always want to be targeting more than your risk. If for some reason you can't find the recent level of support for your take profit target, you can use the Fibonacci tool. All you need to do is to draw the Fibonacci level from the highest point before the price breaks below the moving average to the recent swing low. And now you can set your take profit target at the first or the second Fibonacci line. If you had a signal to go short but the trigger candlestick is bullish, you can wait another candlestick. And if the next candlestick is bearish, you can enter the trade. The same is true for long positions. For example, you had a signal to go long, but the trigger candlestick is bearish. In this case, you can wait another candlestick. And if the next candlestick is bullish, you can take a long position. However, if you had a signal to go long, but the second candlestick was still bearish, you skip this signal. The same is true for short positions, if the second candlestick is still being bullish, you simply skip this trade. Okay, I hope you have understood the rules for this strategy. If you want to see some more examples, check out the original video by Online Trading Signals. Okay, now let's do our backtesting to see how accurate this strategy actually is.
Okay, so after 100 trades, we see that the win rate for this strategy is only 47%. I found those setups within two weeks. We also increased our account size by 15.31%. The profit factor is only 1.16 and we had four wins in a row against five losses in a row. So yeah, the results are pretty average, but the strategy is making money. I think the strategy can definitely be improved and let me actually give you some tips. First of all, I would start with adding a good volume indicator to the chart with the goal to eliminate bad signals. We can use this historical volatility percentile by Bali Poor. This is a pretty good tool because it shows the overall level of volatility in the market. If the volatility bars are below the moving average, the level of volatility is typically low. And this is something we want to avoid because we do not want to be entering a trade when the market is ranging. This usually happens after a big move. Just take a look at how well this indicator eliminated these bad long signals. We wouldn't have entered a trade unless the volatility was above the moving average. Also take a look at these examples. We see when the market is ranging, the volatility is low. Once the market starts trending, the volatility level increases. This short signal was definitely valid because the bar was above the moving average. This losing long signal was eliminated perfectly. The next sell signal was confirmed pretty well. And once the market started moving sideways, we see there is no profit for us to be made. Obviously, you can get rid of these colored bars. Those are unnecessary. Another thing I'd improve in this strategy is the money management. Just like I said, if our risk reward ratio is often lower than one, we're not going to make any money long term. For this strategy, I would suggest using a risk reward ratio of one to one and a half, or you can use a different approach where you're letting your winners ride. For that, we need to add another indicator to the chart. And this indicator is called Parabolic SAR. And now your rules for entering a long trade would look something like this. First of all, the price action has to be closed above the slow MA. The indicator has to print a green arrow below the price. The level of volatility in the market has to be high. And our trigger candlestick has to be bullish. We can either set our stop loss at the parabolic SAR or at the green level. And now very important rule, if the price action is moving in our favor and we're running a profitable trade, we're going to close the position as soon as we have the parabolic SAR shift above the price. This way we allow ourselves to make some really good profits. Here is another example for a really good long trade. We see the indicators agree, all the conditions are met. And we would close this trade right on this candlestick. We see the risk reward can get up to 2.36 to 1. For short positions, the rules would be exactly opposite. So the price action has to close below the moving average. The indicator has to print a red arrow above the price. The volatility bar has to be above the moving average. And our trigger candlestick has to be bearish. Our stop loss can either be set at the parabolic SAR or slightly above this red zone. And if the price action moves in our favor and we have a winning trade, we're going to close the position as soon as we have the parabolic SAR shift below the price. You would ignore every exit signal the parabolic SAR gives you if the trade is running in loss. Obviously, this is just an example of how I would improve this strategy. You can certainly use different indicators and try different money management. But if you decide to trade with the strategy without making any adjustments, bear in mind that the strategy gives pretty average results on a Bitcoin 5-minute chart. Okay, traders, I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like it as it really helps with the algorithm. And if you want to see some of my best strategies on a channel for crypto, check out this playlist right here. By the way, guys, the trade IQ is now translated into Spanish. All the videos from this channel will be translated soon, so make sure you subscribe to Trade IQ Espanol.